We should leave something. We are travelers, are we not? Superstitious nonsense. Welcome to the Court of Heaven, the most important annual meeting of the Elders and the reason for our presence. It is an honor to have you among us. Of course. What do you want to know? The Court of Heaven is the name of both the place and the event. Each year, the Elders of the tribes gather here to solve their differences and make crucial decisions. It is also an opportunity for people to present their problems to the Elders. It is this court's duty to dispense justice, providing the issue is important enough. Last but not least, the Court of Heaven attracts merchants from all over Nazamones and beyond. Where there are people, there will always be commerce. Merchants and mercenaries, the rich and the poor, Everyone has a reason to be here, just like you. Some people make things happen, others watch things as they happen. It is up to you to decide what you will be, a maker or a watcher. I suggest you walk around and breathe in the air. Meet some people and talk to them. Trade if you want. Since you are here as my guest, you are free to go anywhere. We might encounter some hostility. Make no mistake, the minor tribes will do whatever I tell them to do. It's the elders of the major tribes I am worried about. Not everyone likes the Romans. Some elders may see your presence as a direct attack on our autonomy. Do not speak unless spoken to. Try to be respectful and diplomatic. In a way, this is our Senate. All will be fine if we don't offend anyone. Isil and Mador are the most respected elders among us. Convincing them both would be a significant diplomatic victory. Udad may get in our way, but you never know with him. And then there's young Womaxan, who's always hot-blooded. As far as his influence goes, Udad is on par with Mador. Except he is more of a traditionalist. He prays to his ancestors two times a day, dawn and dusk, hoping they would answer his questions. We believe our dead ancestors watch over us. That's why we pray to them. A young man trying to impress his elders? Always a dangerous thing. He is renowned for his prowess in combat, but his diplomatic ability leaves much to be desired. A man after my own heart. I believe we shall. Everything I sell was unwanted by someone, but always wanted by someone else. I take iron, I sell iron. I sell you things others want to get rid of. If you want unwanted things, you're at the right tent. What are you? A scholar of metal? I know metal better than anyone else. If I say it's iron, then it is iron. End of discussion. 
Look at what I have to offer and tell me what attracts your curiosity. Dignity is what you make of it. From the earliest time I can remember, I was fascinated by metal. As a grown man, I am still obsessed with it. I gather metal and sell it to those who value it. I am as undignified as my customers, and I am proud of it. Did you think I was trying to deceive you? What I sell here is true metal and true metal only. Have you seen these weighted blades? They are of high quality. And maybe you need some tools intended for javelins. Great craftsmanship there. But since you're Roman, you might be interested in this old helmet. It's a bit dented, but I'm sure you'll like it. A fair price for a quality product. You may want to reconsider. Look at them and decide. You may want to reconsider. A desperate treasure hunter sold it to me near Utica. It's ugly and battered indeed. Uh, I took it off his hands out of pity. Domine, look at these inscriptions. P. C. S. Huh? Publius Cornelius Scipio. By the limping leg of Hephaestus, this is the helmet of the famous General Scipio Africanus. An item of infinite value. It's a fancy hat, Cineros. Let's not raise our voices too much. <laughs> that is impossible to say, but there is no doubt in my mind. The design of this helmet is from the right time period. Perhaps he gave it away in an exchange of gifts after the Battle of Zama. Scipio Africanus was without a doubt among the greatest strategists of all time. This helmet is a priceless artifact. That sounds like a fair price to me. I hope you will find some use for this old thing. Do you want anything else from my stall? They are up to no good at all, these... Why boomers. not buy a lovely dry Walk wine to that. cool you in the Ow. desert heat? Lower your voice, lest your stupid drivel is overhead. Salutations and a nice evening to you, travelers. You look like people of refined taste. Am I wrong? Naturally. You have come to the right place. Our wines rival those of Carthage, and some in fact surpass them. Feel free to browse, and tell me if you find something interesting. Well, I would not say better, but they're certainly different. It is not only a matter of different grapes, but also of the environment and the weather. Such things are a matter of taste, but I believe one must taste many things in life. One must explore oneself. Uh, don't you agree? The answer is no one, but we can try. There are, after all, so many different wines to drink in life. I don't have a lot of interesting grapes for you. Uh, this year's vintage was rather fragile. Fortunately, that usually means we have some of the best vinegar. And could I perhaps direct your attention to our excellent local honey, in case you want to produce some of your Roman malsam? Our honey is unique. The hive is built inside a tree that is hollowed out. You have never tasted anything like it. I knew you'd be satisfied.
You have a sharp eye for quality products. Very well. This great vinegar can be yours for a reasonable price. <laughs> great! You will not be disappointed. It always does. Am I wrong to assume you need more than just one flask? Did you forget your coin purse? This is by far the largest council gathering I have ever attended. I trade happily with all tribes. All are welcome in my stall. The famous Roman everyone's been talking about. It is not too late in the day to buy the supplies you need. Approach and look. My store, though humble by your standards, is at your service. Word of your deeds travels fast, especially amongst merchants. We all know of the Roman commander and the riches you possess. Tell me, what do you desire? I mean within the boundaries of what I can provide you with at this stall, of course. I can't grant you immortality... yet. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, but trust me, you don't want to go there. My husband is a jealous man. On the contrary, it helps my business. Everyone underestimates me and pays the price, literally, in most cases. I'm not afraid of anyone. They are afraid of me. Of course. There is no way not to be. I do not hail from any tribe you would ever have heard of, however. My tribe is quite small, but we have good relations to both Lunia's tribe and Udad's. Will that be all? There is no way we can compensate for that. Ask him if he would accept 20 jugs of Carthaginian wine instead. Settle for no more than 30. Romans, the spirits must have led you here to my little corner. How fortuitous. I need a little bit of your time and your guidance. Would you be willing to extend your helping hand? That is precisely why I need you. The guidance I seek is for lands beyond this one. You are a warrior, are you not? If death is what you deal, it must stand to reason that you'd know death and the lands of the dead. My name is Axil. I am what you might call a philosopher in your language. Though to my own people, I am a shaman. My life's work is to study and explore the many lands beyond death and how they vary from culture to culture. Well, that is one of the questions I am trying to explore. Is it truly based on what we believe, or where we are born, or to whom? I myself am inherently fascinated by the idea of these different afterlives. But when I finish this book, I hope it will serve as a kind of travel guide. You understand me then. On the matter of transitioning from one life to the next, 
there can never truly be certainty. Besides, as scholars, we must seek the truth for no other reason than to enlighten ourselves. I have collected much knowledge of our own afterlife, but I have never had the opportunity to learn what awaits Romans after death. Precisely. I have interviewed several scholars on the subject of the afterlife, but those were all of Africa. It is my theory that one's afterlife depends on the gods one believes in. I simply want to know about what kind of afterlife Roman gods provide. I'll need more than that. I'll need detailed descriptions. You have the look of a trustworthy individual. And I know Romans are proud of their virtues. Is it not so? I may later enlist the help of another Roman who would prove you wrong and reveal that you have deceived me. In that case, I would at least know what part of the afterlife Romans like to lie about. First, walk me through the typical journey of the deceased according to your culture. Imagine you are dead. What happens then? On its own? Hmm, interesting. We have to find our own way to the Duat. But they say the path is different for each person. A river? Now that sounds pleasant. But do you carry your own money to the underworld? Of course. We also believe it is best to bury the dead with their belongings. That way they can live a good life in Siket Aru. Assessors. We have 42 of them. It is best to know their names and the sins they have not committed. Once you pass their judgment, Anubis weighs your heart against a feather of Mart. A pure heart isn't heavy. This Elysium sounds like Seket Aru. Osiris permits only the pure spirits to the field of reeds. Amit devours their hearts. You are right, of course. But I have an idea. Look, this weed is called Cat's Eye. They say it will bring you to the land of the dead temporarily. It would be great if you'd try it and tell me what you saw there. Naturally, I was the first to try it myself, but I'm certain you will visit a different underworld than I. You should not worry. I have tried it myself multiple times, and as you see, I always came back. You are right. I happen to have some Roman denarii on me. Please, take these with you. fault, really. I wasn't a very good cat. Cats have to live through nine lives. We die and then we are reborn. 
but a wicked cat is reborn as a lowly human. I am you in a past life. I am a cat. Maybe they had nothing to say to you. Maybe you should ask better questions. Obvious questions produce obvious answers. Do you remember dying? I do. It was memorable, but not pleasant. Then again, few deaths are. It is not you who is dead. A very good question. Do you even remember your purpose? You seem quite healthy. Is there? Maybe you are standing in their path and barring them from pursuing their purpose. I may seem wise to you, but wisdom comes with age and identity. I know you because I am you. Or rather, I was you in a past life. I do not enjoy life as a human, but you can save me by leading a good life and not causing pain. Only then will we be reborn as a cat. Unlikely, but stranger things have happened. But you do. In pursuing your ambitions, you hurt those in your path. You must ask yourself if it's all worth it. And when that's done, you will lie around all day and enjoy life. You can do that now. Cats do it every day. The only way you can stop hurting people is to leave the land of the living. You may stay here if you want and trade places with me. That way I will be reborn as a cat, and you will be a good man. I know, this is all very confusing for you, but let me make it simpler. I shall present you with two doors. One of them leads to the Elysium of Reeds, the other back to the Court of Heaven. Think about it. Figure out which one feels right, and go where your heart leads you. You are back. Quickly, tell me what you saw before the visions fade. Giant cat. Ah, that's bizarre. Thank you, my dear friend. With your help, people all around the world will have a better afterlife experience. Please, accept this amulet as a small token of my immense gratitude. I hope to see you again when my book is finished.
There are many dangers in the desert. My goods will protect you from some of them. Locust wings. Simply put, it's a marvel of potion crafting. You will feel sad when the bottle is empty. By the ancestors, it's just ordinary wine. Go sleep it off before you make a fool of yourself. Along came a warrior. But know this, not all foes fight fair. A blade may not fell you, but venom might. Do you need protection against that eventuality? It takes a wise man to recognize wisdom. Thus only by recognizing wisdom, we are wise. I have a cure against venom. You should be prepared. Do you agree? That may be because I am not a merchant. Looks can be deceiving. I am merely a student of my ancestors trying to relay wisdom to those who deserve it. That is a wise choice. Your life may not be measured with denarii. You are one misstep away from your death. Let me help you. Greetings, Romans. Or how do you say it? Selwete. I am Galusa the Great. How may I help you? Isn't it obvious? Hmm? Not only am I incredibly handsome, but I also sell the best wares in the land. I would like to think of myself as a purveyor of uncommon delicacies. Not all delicacies are edible, yet my entire inventory is delicious. Here and there, in this profession, you get to travel all around the world. Procuring items is a form of art. I can find you anything you are looking for, given enough time or resources, of course. Everything you can see in my stalls, the most peculiar spices, and obviously, the best sewi Nazemones has to offer. What do you need? Ah, the moment I saw you, I knew what kind of connoisseur you are. Unfortunately, that sewa is not for sale. That birthmark? By Zeus and Pythagoras. My sister. Finally, I found you, sister. Restrain your sewas, Roman. I told you, that sewa is not for sale. I apologize. Still, my point stands. She is not for sale, for she was already purchased. The sky is gone from her eyes. What did they do to her? Magister, I don't know what I should do. 
What do I say? She was a curious one listening in on conversations she should not hear and watching events she should not see. I had to correct this problem. We burnt her eyes out. Now she's naturally less curious. This outrage is unnecessary. Am I telling you how you should run your legion? Then don't tell me how I should deal with my sewer. That's my job and my expertise. I do not know what kind of trick this is, but I have no brothers. Please let go. Your insistence will be bad for me. A name? I... I do not know her name. I do not remember it. It's been... It's been a long time. What do you want to do, Discipule? Your actions will determine the kind of man you are. Finding her was once the purpose of my life, Magister. I am not leaving without her. Do something, Legati, or I will. Hmm. hmm. Tempting. What you're saying is you can pay me 8,000 denarii right now? Never in the history of the world has anyone paid even half that much for a Sowa. He just doesn't want to sell her. I see. You drive a hard bargain. Hmm. Deal. Selling blind Sewi is always difficult. Take her. Thank you, my friend. You can't even guess how much that means to me. I shall find a way to repay you. I would. For I am a good man. Come on, sister. I will show you your new home. Welcome back. How may I help you this time? She will want vengeance on her brother. Mark my words. War is coming.
The Roman finally joins us in the flesh. Your reputation precedes you. Esteemed elders, now that we are all here, our talks can begin in earnest. I have told you all of the upcoming war, of the possibility of Nazamenes being trapped between Roman legions and Egypt, and I have explained the potential advantages of an alliance with the Romans. Now is your time to ask your questions about our proposal. I'm sure many such questions burn your tongues. Why is nobody talking? Have you lost your voices? Are you all afraid of the great Roman? Cowards! That's what you are. You are a disgrace to Nazamones. It is only you who disgraces us in front of this foreigner, Wormaxan. Is it up to you to talk when your elders are silent? You confuse courage with insolence. Nobody is afraid of the Roman, but it is unwise to insult your elders. Nobody is afraid of the Romans. <laughs> I am. They've conquered Nasamones once. They rule Egypt and possibly myriad lands, the names of which I can't even begin to pronounce. One would be a fool not to fear the Romans. Run to your Roman masters with your tail between your legs then, Medu. I shall stand and fight, and if need be, die defending my people. Warmaxan, Medur, know yourselves. The ancestors are watching. Do not disrespect the court. How many troops do you need, Roman? <laughs> Five thousand slaves, in other words. Typical of Romans. You think loyalty is just another thing you can buy. He is afraid. I fear nothing. The Roman is afraid. Am I wrong, Roman? There is no way you can advance towards Egypt without our help. You can wait for your masters to send you reinforcements. But by then it will be already too late. And what if we refuse helping you? It is not conquest you are seeking. You are trying to survive. Are you not? I'll grant you that your words are wise. In your acceptance of death, you conquer your fear thereof. Unfortunately, I cannot strike a deal with a man who may be dead tomorrow. And if you die, who will take your place? Who will uphold your end of our arrangement? They have put their trust in you, and so you put your trust in them. This is fitting. You have my support. You weak-minded fool! You excrement of a drunken horse! The presence of this foreigner alone is an insult to the ancestors. I should slit your throat where you stand. Control yourself! He may have a temper, but he is right. You know that too. The court of heaven is for us only. I can already feel the disapproval of the ancestors. Can you now? Very well. Let us consult the ancestors then. Have you lost your mind, Izil? Are we not disgraced enough? Will you allow this foreigner to desecrate the resting place of our ancestors with his presence? That is highly unusual. I don't think the ancestors would approve. That's something the ancestors can tell us themselves, is it not? Fine. But let it be known that I'm not happy. As usual. It is settled then. We consult the ancestors. Greetings, Legate. 
Do you really think I am a golden wolf? Then maybe she's figuratively a goddess. <laughs> I am not. It is an amusing thought, though. Nazamanes does not have kings or queens. We do not like being ruled by other people. Some amongst us think it's necessary to have a king. But I believe the very concept of a monarch is against our nature. We must rule ourselves. When I was young, my hair was the color of wheat. And I am said to be as cunning as a wolf. Most of them. This year's gathering had a specific goal. We wanted to elect a king for the entirety of Nozamanes. Naturally, not all of the tribes agree. Salue legate. Is that right? Legate. You have such a strange language. I do like it, though. I apologize for the behavior of my fellow elders. We are not used to having a foreigner in the court. <laughs> I like your sense of humor. In the absence of a meaningful decision, we have decided to consult the ancestors, as we always do. You shall travel to the burial site and sleep inside the tomb of an ancestor who, in return, shall appear to you in dreams and reveal your destiny. We will all do the same. I believe our ancestors will tell us if we should support you. Pray to your gods, Roman. If the ancestors are against you, I shall cut you down right there and then. And then one morning you will just fail to wake up. I have seen a place like this once. Similar, but different. What a strange feeling to see such a thing again. Why are the elders allowing foreigners here to trample all over our ancestors' graves?
foreigners. Please be respectful in this sacred place. It pains me to see an outsider like you at this sacred place. I await the guidance of the ancestors. Only they could change my mind. But I do not expect they will. It is not a personal matter. You represent the death of our way of life. That is none of your business. I know what you are doing. Hoping to find a way to pry us apart and drive a wedge between us. Well, you will find nothing. I may not always agree with Izil, Meido and Lunya, but our tribes thrive on mutual respect. We are not enemies to each other. Against you, we are united like the fingers of my fist. You Romans are motherless. You have no ancestors, and your bastard gods have no power here. Uh, that is not what I have heard. I am told you worship powerful, eternal beings that rule you from another realm. One is the same as the other. Your gods are divided, like your loyalties. I should expect nothing less of you people. You overcomplicate the telling of things in order to obfuscate the truth. Hey! You! Do not walk there! It is sacred ground! Are you ready? Ask. He has already made his choice to support you. In his eyes, to seek the guidance of the ancestors now would be a sort of insult against you. The ancestors know many things. You shall consult one of mine. I'm sure the answers will be forthcoming. You drink the ritual milk and enter into the tomb of your ancestor. Truth will be revealed in a dream. Anyone who lies about such sacred matters will be judged most harshly by the spirits. Take as much time as you would like.
Are you ready? It is bad luck for the living to enter a grave. <laughs> I will give you what I can spare. Make sure to return it when you are done. with their pants around their ankles. Don't let overconfidence weaken you, Warmaxan. Kill them all. I will meet you at Algila. Fools! Sakura, we must leave at once. This will surely mean war. Just get our child out of here! They're killing each other! I have nothing to do with this! Help! Somebody! They're fighting! against them. Ah. 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 Move as one! 
one now. Okay, move as one. We must do the same. from me, please! Roman craftsmanship! Having trouble, friend? Did not hurt at all.
be ready for them. They're killing each other! Run! I will not die yet! Not while you still live! They reveal themselves, they are dead. Leave me! I'll hold them off! Look at you! at the end of this, it seems. Not that I need any help, but... Please, follow my finger. Yes, you'll be all right. as it looked.
I don't think we can win this. Let them fight their own wars. Cowards! Are you all right, Legate? The ritual is corrupted. Izil and Womaxen attacked you. Who knows what the spirits wanted to say? Treacherous bastards. We'll get them, do not worry. I must give it to old Ezil. He fooled even me. We may have to. And not just for him, but Udad as well. He's likely to retreat to his citadel in Aujila. Unless you can find a way to get rid of Udad, Izil will be intractable. With or without Medel's support, we will need to defeat Izil, or else Nazamanes will not fully stand with us. Ours is the finest, most veteran legion of Rome. We will crush these barbarians. <laughs> 